Good day YouTube, gonna be looking at my top 5 pales, IPAs, double IPAs, Imperial IPAs, ISAs, etc, etc, etc. Uh, <laughs> lots of hon honorable men mentions. Um, so let's start out with those. For instance, uh, we got Stones, Enjoy By, or Enjoy After. Really nice, picked it up right from the brewery. Beautiful stuff. Uh, drank it a little earlier than I was supposed to, but nonetheless, awesome beer. I don't think age would have done anything to it, really. Then we got Phillips Super Cooper. It's a brilliant triple IPA. Uh, super hoppy, super malty. Uh, yeah, barrel age one year and dry hopped. Yeah. Picked that one up in Victoria at their brewery. Awesome stuff. Then we've got Ruin 10 by Stone. Thought this one was absolutely beautiful. Uh, yeah, Gigantics IPA out of Portland, Oregon. Awesome. Just unbelievable, awesome stuff. And let's see here. Subliminally self-righteous from Stone once again. To start out, it's not going to be how high I rated them because ratings change after a while. Uh, some beers improve the more you have them and some you're like, uh, rated it a little too high. But uh, to start out, Ballast Points Grapefruit Sculpin. Really, really enjoyed this one. Nice maltiness to it, nice sweet uh, grapefruit tastes, super grapefruity. That's basically the only way to describe this beer. If you like grapefruit, you'll like this. Uh, then I didn't keep a bottle, but number four will be uh, Stone's Go-To IPA. Beautiful, beautiful beer. Absolutely loved it. Uh, yeah. Easy drinking and had the taste of like a double IPA. Uh, yeah, awesome stuff. Super hoppy. Uh, number three is Stone's Ruination IPA. <laughs> Got the uh, privilege of having their last batch they ever made of the standard Ruination IPA. Really loved it. Uh, amazing, amazing beer. Just ordered the uh, Ruination 2.0, so I'll probably be reviewing that one in the next couple days. Yeah. And number two. Had this one on Christmas. Uh, loved the, their regular IPA, so I had to pick this one up, and so damn glad I did. Uh, Gigantic's Ginormous Imperial IPA. Beautiful, beautiful beer. Um, just so unbelievably complex. So many different hot flavors in that one. Yeah, beautiful stuff. And once again, for number one, I didn't keep the bottle and I'm so pissed off because this, I gave it a 9.9. .9. I should have given it a straight up 10. It was just perfect. Lagunitas Equinox. Um, Oat Pale Ale, Equinox Hops, I believe. Man, that one, <laughs> just amazing. One of one of the better beers I've had for sure. Just beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, yeah. Well, hope you enjoyed the top five IPAs and pails of 2015. Cheers.